Hello, my dear uh, student. Uh, today I am going to discuss about Pearson Edexcel IGCSE O-level Physics Past Question Paper Solution January uh, 2021 Paper 1. Today I am going to uh, solve question number question number six question number six a person uh, throws an object vertically upward the speed time graph shows how the speed of the object varies from the time it is thrown until it reaches its maximum height this one the velocity time graph or speed time graph calculate the acceleration of the object we have to uh, find out the acceleration we know acceleration uh, equal to gradient of the velocity time graph so acceleration acceleration a acceleration equal to gradient gradient of the velocity time graph or speed time graph remember speed time graph so uh, acceleration equals to gradient of the speed time graph to calculate the gradient we need change in distance divided by uh, sorry change in speed change in speed uh, speed divided by change in time that means rise by graph here a change in uh, speed is look at the graph uh, final uh, initial speed is 4.2 uh, 4.2 meter per second and final is 0 so 0 minus 4.2 divided by time time here 0 0.45 second so 0 0.02 minus 4.2 so minus 4.2 meter per second divided by 0 0.45 uh, second so answer is minus 9.3 meter per second square so unit of acceleration is meter per second is, uh, square and this minus sign indicates that the minus sign indicates that the object object decelerates that means slows down calculate the distance travel to reach its maximum height so distance distance equal to remember distance equal to area under the velocity time area under the area under the speed time graph time graph so remember to calculate the distance we need to uh, or we calculate we have to calculate the area under the graph so area means uh, here the shape is triangle so half into base into height so here uh, base look at the graph base is 0 0.45 and height is 0 half into 0 0.45 second and height is 4.2 meter per second so distance is 0 0.95 meter 0 0.95 meter remember to calculate the distance we need to uh, calculate the area under the speed time graph so area under the speed time graph then uh, look at the look at the question b a different object is dropped from a rest uh, from rest and begins to fall the graph shows how the speed of the object varies with time so give the name of the two forces acting on the object on give the name of the two forces acting on the object as it falls 
number one force is uh, weight, weight force or uh, weight force also known as uh, gravitational force, gravitational force. So same thing, weight or gravitational force, gravitational force. And uh, another force is uh, air resistance or drag force, air resistance. resistance or drag force, drag force. Draw uh, arrows on the diagram to show the forces acting on the object at B, at B. At B point, So here at B point, the there is two forces. One is uh, one is downwards weight force, downwards weight force, and upward, upward air resistance or drag force. Now question number three, question number three, explain the shape of the graph from A to C, A to C. So from A to B, the object is accelerating, A to B, the object is accelerating. So the object, object, is accelerating Ting, uh, from from a to b a to b the object is accelerating so the downwards force downwards force greater than greater than upward force at a gradient Gradient, uh, gradient or acceleration decreasing, decreasing from A to B, from A to B. A drag force or air resistance increases 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 as speed increase increases increases Now acceleration uh, is zero in reason BC acceleration is zero. Acceleration is zero. Uh, terminal velocity. Terminal velocity, uh, terminal velocity achieved in reason BC, in reason BC. So, uh, 
So look at the graph uh, from A to B. The, the object is exhilarating from A to B. The object is exhilarating from A to B. The downward force greater than the upward force at A. So A here uh, downward force is greater. That's why it exhilarating downwards. Gradient or acceleration decreasing from A to B. Drag force increases as the speed increases. In reason B, B C, the acceleration is zero. Terminal velocity as if in reason B C.